When texting your ex during no contact, if they come to you or after no contact has ended, you need to be very conscious of the effort level of your ex and that you're calibrating to that and you're going tit for tat. It's one move against their one move. Hey, I'm Coach Benny and I help people get their exes back. And before I did this, I was a dating coach. So think about what a dating coach does, walking people through Tinder conversations, etc. On a micro level, we get very in touch with this tit for tat nature of texting. You see, the thing with your ex is that they gave up on the relationship either because of a loss of attraction or because, you know, you broke their trust or they perceived that you broke their trust or they thought that you weren't attending to them or they were overwhelmed from stress or they have some fears of commitment. It's, it's one of those issues in there. Now, once that happens, they give up on the relationship for the time being and they put their walls up and they're going to be super resistant to you. And it's a process of reeling them back in. Just because at one point in time you guys were a couple, it doesn't mean that you can just kind of do whatever you want emotionally to get them back. You guys have split apart. And how do we get somebody back that's further away? We have to use the principles of attraction. So just the same way if I meet a brand new girl on Tinder and if I'm like sending like 20 different text messages in a row to her little one-liner you know, response, I'm doing too much. I'm going to chase that girl off. It's the same way with your ex. You're subcommunicating that you're lower status than them. You're subcommunicating that you have nothing else going on. You're subcommunicating that you think that they're better than you. You're subcommunicating that, you know, basically that you're needy and you're not in a place of confidence. And this is why it's really important that when you are texting with your ex, that you're just doing one little message at a time, sending one bubble, that your bubble isn't way bigger than theirs. And that you're not just like meticulously responding to every little point they make in their last text and also not asking them 20 different questions, like always asking a question and trying to push the conversation forward every single you know, time. You want to be pretty much at their effort level or slightly below in order to create a chase effect. Now, sometimes people can hear this advice and they start becoming robotic. So they like calculate out, oh, my ex's text message was 35 characters. I'm going to send precisely 34. You don't want to be a robot about it, but you definitely don't want to be doing more than your ex at a time where this person is deciding whether or not they like you after they broke up with you. Now, if you want my help getting your ex back, you can click into my profile, click this link right here, set up a call with me, tell me your story, and I'll tell you a step-by-step -step game plan to get your ex back.